It's time now for our new segment, Eight Minutes of Expertise, where a local leader answers questions about the COVID-19 pandemic and how it affects you. Joining me now, a face you often see at the Winnebago County Health Department COVID-19 briefings, Rockford Mayor Tom McNamara. Mayor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Kristen, for having me. And just real quick, just want to say thank you uh, to you and your entire team throughout this entire process. You've really worked hard. Uh, we see that uh, at the city and you've done a wonderful job of getting out accurate, uh, responsible information. So thank you. We greatly appreciate that. Thank you. And uh, we know everyone is struggling through this pandemic, including local governments. So what kind of help is the city of Rockford seeing from the state and does the state need to do more? So we certainly are struggling. Uh, obviously, the first uh, our first emphasis is and should be on the residents' health and their own uh, financial security. Uh, but you touch on a subject that uh, we can't deny. The city of Rockford is struggling right now. We closed uh, from the day I got elected to today, we closed an $8.8 .8 million deficit for this 2020 cycle. Uh, and we close that with a balanced budget and we even put a little bit of money away for a rainy day and now came COVID and uh, we're projecting a multi-million dollar deficit uh, just this year, seeing that sales taxes, seeing a dramatic reduction, state income tax will see a dramatic reduction. So uh, we're certainly hurting. Uh, we are advocating. I brought all the mayors together of Winnebago County and sent some letters uh, to the state and to the uh, our state uh, governor, as well as to the federal delegation, asking them for relief for municipalities. The thing that was uh, a little bit uh, disheartening for me was to see uh, the stimulus package number three, which uh, uh, did not provide direct funding to municipalities that have under 500,000 in population. So we've been advocating with the help of the Illinois Municipal League to get more dollars into the hands of municipalities like ours. So what does that mean? If if Rockford doesn't get the aid that it's it's looking for right now from the government, what does that mean for the city and its residents? So uh, this is a seven million dollars uh, three months, four months into the year uh, is a significant hit. We've never done that because we, by law, have to balance, pass a balanced budget. We're not the state that can wait multiple years. We're not the federal government that can print new money. So uh, I would say I'm not even going to get to that point. Uh, we would have to look at furloughs. We'd have to look at uh, a whole host of things we don't want to look at. Uh, what we're doing right now is spending every piece of our energy uh, to work with our state elected officials, uh, work with the governor's office, and work with our federal delegation to get the relief we need. We believe the stimulus package number four uh, will put, provide uh, more relief to municipalities like us. We also are working with the Illinois Municipal League so that we can uh, take uh, advantage of some of the state dollars that were brought uh, from the, the third stimulus package. So uh, it's a very real concern, one that we're looking at every day, uh, but we're still very optimistic and working very hard on behalf of the citizens to get dollars uh, from the state and federal government to fill some of these shortfalls. Another topic weighing heavy on people's minds, non-essential businesses have been shut down for weeks now in the city. Yeah. Does the city have any idea how many of those businesses may never be able to reopen again? So uh, one, for the non-essential businesses, uh, my heart goes out to them. I certainly understand the stress and strain that they are under uh, and can only imagine that, that amount of pressure that they're feeling. Uh, we don't know the number of businesses that may not open. Uh, we are working uh, diligently to help as many as we can. We have deferred tax payments, as you know, to the city. We have deferred loan payments through our revolving loan program. We helped bring together eight financial institutions to create a $2 million uh, emergency relief fund uh, for these small businesses. We're advocating every day at the state and federal level uh, to provide more relief. And we've also started uh, uh, an email system that any small business can contact us at business first at rockfordil.gov because one thing that we're seeing a lot of is there's a lot of programs out there for small businesses but these small businesses uh, may need some assistance in navigating to figure out which program is good for them, which one uh, is applicable for them, and how can we help. And so we want to help them walk through that process. 
So there's not a real known number at this point or percentage of how many may not come back. Just basically getting the message out there that the city is trying to help the ones that are struggling. Yeah, I would say no, we don't know that number right now. I think it's far too early for anyone to know that number, but uh, we want to be there to help every single small business that's out there right now. And we keep hearing people say this virus has changed the world forever. And in what tangible ways do you think it will change Rockford forever? So I, I think, uh, you know, I, I try to look at the silver lining and the number of these issues. Uh, number one, uh, there was a lot of money uh, provided to Rockford Public School District. Uh, and I think uh, what you can say is maybe there will never be a snow day again uh, because now they've uh, purchased Chromebooks for their students. Uh, Comcast has done a tremendous job of helping us uh, bridge uh, uh, the gaps that have been out there historically from uh, receiving Wi-Fi access uh, and connectivity. So I think that's one big change, uh, but there'll be a host of changes in how all of us communicate and how we all work together. I think right now, uh, it's been a it's been a, a blessing to see so many citizens stand up and serve their community. And it's also been a blessing to see uh, government leaders uh, from different parties uh, and different taxing bodies working so seamlessly uh, together. And it shows us we can work together every single day. And I think moving forward, you're gonna see a lot more collaboration, a lot more coordination of services to still try to deliver as highest quality services to our citizens, uh, but do so maybe more efficiently. Speaking of services, this next question came to us from a viewer. Are road construction crews essential workers? And if so, it seems like, hey, now is the perfect time to repair <laughs> some road problems in the city. So is that possible? So one, yes, uh, they are essential workers. Uh, a couple of things. We uh, passed a capital improvement plan uh, last year, which was the largest capital improvement plan in our city's history. Uh, we. Uh, when you look at our capital improvement plan, it is funded by sales tax. And what's not happening right now is an influx of sales tax. So uh, we are actually reworking that capital improvement plan, should have it before Alderman on the next 10 days. And I will say we just approved a package of uh, road projects just uh, last night at city council. So yes, we wanna get those roads fixed. We'll have our, our projects out hitting the streets and we'll still have one of the largest uh, capital improvement plans uh, moving forward. Uh, it'll just be a touch delayed because of uh, our necessity to rework that capital improvement plan because we're not getting sales tax dollars in at the rate that we uh, projected to. And Mayor, I have time for one more quick question, about 30 seconds left here. Illinois yeah. paused evictions temporarily. Does Rockford itself have any power to protect renters who cannot pay their landlords? So we don't have uh, those powers uh, and we don't have uh, plans in place for that. But what we do have is we do have assistance. So people can reach out to our human services department and they can get assistance paying their NICOR bill, their ComEd bill, their rent, or even their mortgage. I want people to know uh, that we are here for them. So if it's helping them pay their bills, if it's helping them find food during this difficult time, if they need emotional support and mental health support, we have resources available to them and they can find those resources at rockfordil.gov uh, online. And we want to be there to help our citizens and we want them to remain hopeful because we will open and we'll open a lot stronger than uh, before we close. Rockford Mayor Tom McNamara, thank you so much for being with us here today for eight minutes of expertise. Thank you. All right, we'll get a look now at our weather with Chief Meteorologist